Um, another question that I, I'd like to ask you, um, the use of nudity, I yes. guess, has been somewhat controversial. Oh, it is, yes. And um, can you kind of explain, you know, why you're driven to use? Well, it, use, um, it, it works on a number of levels. One is just to challenge the society in a way that they have to rethink biblical things because it, it catches them off guard. But it's also when Christ came, as far as his nudity, when he came, he came gender specific. And if he hadn't, it would, he, it would not have come in the flesh. And it, so it's a whole statement of the incarnation very clearly. As well as I'm trying to deal um, with humanity in the broadest sense of the word. And the only common denominator that all humanity has is the body. Mm -hmm. And I, therefore, the interaction of the body and so forth, uh, re, re, even in telling biblical stories, removes that whole thing of um, that. Well, that was back then, and we are. That has nothing to do with us now, because the body does have something to do with us now, mm -hmm. because that's how we are. That's how we are made, and that's how. And if God could talk to those people who had bodies just like we do back in Abraham's day that he could talk to us. And so uh, I'm, I, I'm wanting people to have to be able to think those thoughts. Now, am I saying that uh, nudity is something that should be common in, the, uh, uh, in our daily life? No. No, I don't think so. I mean, I think clothes, I've just written an article, in fact, <laughs> that clothes are really make the man basically in this in that large sense of the word um, because it, it brings us out of our uh, away from our more animal nature into a, a nature that we can really consider more um, spiritual things in a way but the, but we have to contend with the body somehow mm -hmm. and I think that art is the place to do that well I think from a, yeah. a Christian perspective it kind of takes the taboo out of nudity, mm -hmm. like just the yeah. naked body. It's not yeah. something to be ashamed of. Right. Um, right. And I think that's a beautiful mm -hmm. uh, part mm -hmm. of showing the body, the mm -hmm. form, um, and and just the the vulnerability mm -hmm. of man. I think that nudity so, really speaks to me of vulnerability, and that we're all vulnerable. Yeah. And it's, even when Adam was in the garden, yeah. he's, you know. But also because that, that is our position before God. We have no status, mm -hmm. you see. And that's how, that's one of the functions of clothes is to show status. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and I, so I think that it's important that we have to come to grips with that, that, that place of where we truly are before God, exposed before God in, in every way, um, so that he can truly deal with us and that he accepts us in those ways too. Um, and so there are, there are questions. Let's see, I think a, a good work of art will raise questions that you will not have without having seen it. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that, that these paintings will allow people to entertain questions and entertain um, uh, ideas that they would not have without the work. Uh, and maybe they can live, live a deeper life um, emotionally as well as spiritually, having come in grip to grips with the paintings that I'm doing um, that they might not have had otherwise. Uh, other people's paintings too, I mean, just art in general, I think, is one of those things. But again, it goes back to that poetic nature that allows the allusiveness alluding to other things and so forth. So that's how poetry works. A word is not just the um, one meaning of the word, but it has several meanings that it's alluding to. And so it adds a richness to the language. Well, that's, I have a vocabulary that I'm dealing with mm -hmm. that is doing hopefully some of the same things. And so it's poetic.